Welcome to Hockey Waste Talks Podcast. Today I'll be talking about impact rookies and surprising teams this year in the NHL. In this podcast, I talk about impact rookies in the NHL this year and surprising teams this year. Impact rookies. Anton Lundell. Anton Lundell is having a fantastic rookie campaign thus far, tallying 5 points in 5 games while playing over 16 minutes a game. Lundell has been playing in all situations and has been a key addition to the penalty kill. While he may not win the Calder, he has been a major part of the success Florida has had in the early going. Jonathan Dalin. Jonathan Dalin's arrival in San Jose has given the Sharks a sense of life in the early season. He has played well alongside Logan Couture and Timo Meyer on the first line for the Sharks. Dalin has 3 goals and 5 points in 6 games so far this season. Lucas Raymond is performing way beyond anyone's expectation this season. He has 4 goals and 8 points in 7 games and has been a huge part of the Red Wings resurgence. He is a favorite for the Calder this season. Morin Sider. Morin Sider leads rookie defenseman in points this season with 6 points in 7 games while averaging over 21 minutes a game. This is off the charts production for a 20 year old rookie defenseman. Sider is a favorite for the Calder this season. Bowen Byram. Bowen Byram is finally having a breakout season, putting up 5 points in his first 6 games while averaging over 19 minutes a game. Byram would be the highest scoring defenseman if not for Marin Sider. Spencer Knight. Spencer Knight is going to be a huge part of the Florida Panthers this season, who have gotten off to a hot start with a 7-0 record. Knight has a 2-0 record with a 2.37 GAA and a .920 save percentage so far this season. Knight has a 2-0 record with a 2.37 GAA and .920 save percentage so far this season. Check out my scouting blog at HockeyWiz777Scouting.com. Listen to my scouting blog podcast on anchor.fm backslash hockeywiz 777 scouting surprising teams this year buffalo sabers buffalo sabers were supposed to be the worst team in the league but so far they have gotten off to a hot start with a 4-1-1 record not having jack eichel in the lineup may have been the best thing for them because they can focus on playing as a five-man unit rather than making one player happy Detroit Red Wings. The Detroit Red Wings have gotten off to a great start to this season with a 4-2-1 record with young players such as Lucas Raymond and Marin Sider playing huge roles on the team. It remains to be seen if the Red Wings can sustain this type of performance. San Jose Sharks. The San Jose Sharks have a much better record than expected. They have a 4-2 record, which is good for third in the Pacific. For a team not expected to do so good this year, they have exceeded expectations thus far. Pittsburgh Penguins. The Pittsburgh Penguins are playing without Crosby and Malkin, yet they have managed to have a great start to this season with a 3-1-2 record. This is a testament to the coaching ability of Mike Sullivan, who has gotten his team ready to play regardless of who is in the lineup. Columbus Blue Jackets. There weren't very high expectations of the Columbus Blue Jackets this season, but they have had a great start to the season with a 4-2 record. It remains to be seen if the Blue Jackets can keep up their strong play. Check out my hockey blog at hockeywisttalkshockey.blastbot.com. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram at hockeywis777. Surprisingly bad teams this year. Montreal Canadiens. The Montreal Canadiens are the worst team in the NHL right now, which is a bit surprising considering they just made the Stanley Cup Finals not too long ago. Granted, they don't have Carey Price or Shea Weber, but still, they should be a lot better than the record shows. Chicago Blackhawks. The Chicago Blackhawks had very high expectations headed into the season, with the additions of Marc-Andre Fleury and Seth Jones, as well as the return of Jonathan Taves. However, they have gotten off to a terrible start to the season with a 0-5-2 record. Vegas Golden Knights. The Vegas Golden Knights were early favorites to win the Stanley Cup this season, but thus far, they haven't looked very good at all. Injuries to Stone and Pacioretty certainly didn't help, but it is pretty clear that Robin Lehner is not playing well in it, and if he doesn't turn it around, Vegas could very well be in danger of missing the playoffs entirely. Colorado Avalanche. The Colorado Avalanche have gotten off to a slow start to the season with a 2-4 record, which is certainly a surprise to most people. It is pretty clear that Colorado's defense and goaltending is not as strong as last year. Darcy Kemper will need to elevate his level of play to prove that he was worth his trade value. In the next podcast, I talk about players to pick up in fantasy hockey.